Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Quirkville, there lived a little girl named Moonbeam. Moonbeam had an extraordinary friend named Mr. Biscuit, who happened to be a magical toaster. Yes, you heard that right, a toaster. Moonbeam and Mr. Biscuit had the most peculiar adventures. One day, as Moonbeam was trying to make her breakfast, Mr. Biscuit suddenly popped out a slice of bread, but it was no ordinary bread. It had tiny wings and started fluttering around. Moonbeam named it Butterflap, and together they embarked on a wild and hilarious journey. Their first stop was the candy cane forest, where trees were made of rainbow-colored candy canes. Moonbeam and Butterflap swung from tree to tree, giggling and munching on the delicious candy. They encountered a mischievous band of marshmallow monkeys who loved tickling people. Moonbeam and Butterflap couldn't stop laughing, and the monkeys joined in too. Next, they ventured into Bubblegum Bay, where the ocean was made entirely of bubblegum. Moonbeam and Butterflap blew enormous bubbles and rode on them like boats. They met a quirky dolphin with a bubblegum mohawk and a knack for telling jokes. The dolphin made them laugh until their tummies ached. As their adventure continued, Moonbeam, Butterflap, and Mr. Biscuit stumbled upon the Giggle Grotto. The grotto was filled with magical laughter that danced in the air. Moonbeam couldn't resist joining in, and soon she was rolling on the floor with uncontrollable laughter. Even the rocks in the grotto giggled along. Finally, they arrived at the enchanted gardens where flowers bloomed in all imaginable colors and shapes. Moonbeam and Butterflap had a blast playing a game of hide-and-seek with the mischievous fireflies that lit up the garden. The fireflies darted around, leaving trails of shimmering lights behind them. After a day of laughter, wonder, and peculiar encounters, Moonbeam, Butterflap, and Mr. Biscuit returned home. Moonbeam cuddled up in her bed, holding Butterflap close, while Mr. Biscuit toasted a slice of bread for a midnight snack. As Moonbeam drifted off to sleep, she couldn't help but dream about their next misadventure in the extraordinary land of Quirkville.